Using your food caddy helps reduce the amount of waste going to landfill and helps protect the environment. Nearly a quarter of the contents of a typical black bin on the island is food waste. You should try and use up leftover food to make new dishes. The website lovefoodhatewaste.com has lots of great recipe ideas for you to consider. For any food you can't use to make new dishes such as bones, tea bags or vegetable peelings shown here, these should be placed in your indoor food caddy. Closing the lid after use will prevent any smells escaping. You can line your indoor caddy with any bag, including biodegradable, cornstarch or a paper bag. Once full or on your collection day, tie your bag and put it in your larger outdoor food caddy. To help prevent wildlife or vermin getting inside, put the lid and the handle in the lock position like this before your collection. Many flats or blocks of houses use communal bin stores which contain large communal food bins. If you use one of these, ensure your bag is tied closed and put it in the communal food bin. Put your large food caddy out for collection on your collection day on the curbside next to your bins or gullproof sacks. You can give your indoor caddy a quick rinse with soapy water to keep it clean. Our vehicles have separate areas where food waste is stored. Our staff will often place food waste in a larger bin like this one as it helps improve collection times and means we only need to load food waste into the vehicles once rather than individually. All food waste that is collected by our crews is taken to the Isle of Wight Waste Recovery Park in Newport. Here it is loaded into a dedicated food waste storage area and put into a purpose-made transport container shown here. This container is then taken to a specialist treatment facility where all the collected food waste is unloaded to begin a process called anaerobic digestion. The bags are separated from the food and are sent to a plant that uses the waste to generate power. At the end of the anaerobic digestion process, gas is produced which is converted into electricity. Leftover material is pasteurised and used as a nutrient-rich biofertiliser for farmland. Upon completion of the anaerobic digestion process, 10 tonnes of food waste will generate enough power to provide electricity for a home for an entire year. Using your food caddy means you are doing your bit to help the Isle of Wight and the environment. For every ton of food waste recycled using anaerobic digestion, between half a ton and a ton of CO2 is prevented from entering the atmosphere. Less food being thrown away in your rubbish also ensures less waste is sent to landfill and saves you money. If you need to order either an indoor or outdoor food caddy or replacement communal food bin, visit www.iwhite.com forward slash waste or call 01983 823 777.